Hello everyone. Today we will talk about one of the core DBT skills, mindfulness. If you heard about DBT, probably you're curious to know more. And if you never heard about it, then DBT, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy, is an evidence-based psychotherapy that Marshall Linehan originally developed. DBT skills are taught to have the capability of helping those who wish to improve their ability to regulate emotions, tolerate distress and negative emotions, be mindful and present in the given moment, and communicate and interact effectively with others. Those are four modules in DBT. Mindfulness, distress tolerance, emotional regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. And mindfulness is the foundation of all DBT skills, which is why we're teaching mindfulness skills first. The problem addressed by core mindfulness skills are knowing who you are, where you're going in your life, and regulating what goes on in your mind. Practicing them over time changes your brain and makes it easier to become more peaceful and purposeful in your life. These mindfulness skills are of two basic types, what and how skills. The what skills has three parts, observe, describe, and participate. Observing is sensing or experiencing without describing or labeling the experience. It is noticing or attending to something. The benefit of this practice is that the mind becomes quiet. Eventually, you will be able to observe things without a running commentary of a talkative mind. Notice your body sensations. Practice by observing your breath in and out. Notice if it feels cold or warm. Notice where the air goes into your body. Notice any pressure building up in your lungs. Don't try to force a feeling. Don't try to intensify or lessen any sensation. Don't try to make the feeling stay or go. Just notice how you feel in each moment. Try over and over again to focus back to your breath. Part B of observe skill. Pay attention on purpose to the present moment. This exercise is about opening awareness. We don't try to focus on one thing. We observe all that is happening around us in real time. You can notice the water flowing, the rock shining, the way the sunlight reflects off the greenery. Take in the whole scene and let your attention follow what you observe in front of you in real time. Observe skill part C. Let experiences come and go. Do not push away painful sensations. Do not cling to pleasant sensations. Whatever comes up, let it in and watch it live. Observe skill part D, practice wordless watching. Observe is about noticing your thoughts and feelings without labeling them. Notice each thought and feeling arising and passing like clouds in the sky, as you see in this video. Observe part E, observe both inside and outside yourself. You can observe sensations inside like pain, numbness, tingling, pressure, and temperature. You can observe outside yourself with your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and touch. You can practice observing thoughts and feelings by externalizing them. The next what skills is describe. Part A of describe skill. Describing is putting words on experiences without explanations or judgments. Describing follows observing. It is labeling what is observed. True describing involves just sticking with the facts. For example, if I'm looking at a painting, the words blue, yellow, and brush strokes might come to mind. That would be an example of describing. It's simply applying basic descriptors to what's there. When a feeling or thought arises, acknowledge it. 
For example, say in your mind, sadness has just enveloped me. Part B of the scribe skill, label what you observe. Label a thought as just a thought, a feeling as just a feeling, an action as just an action, as opposed to I am statements. For example, find things in nature, a leaf, a drop of water, a pet or other animal. Describe each thing in as much detail as you can. Or describe as accurately as you can what a person has just said to you. Check to see if you are correct. Part C of describe skill. Unglue your interpretations and opinions from the facts. Describe the who, what, when and where that you observe. Just the facts. Be very specific. Avoid describing intentions or outcomes of the behavior that you do not directly observe. And part C of the scribe skill, remember, if you can't observe it or experience it through your senses, you can't describe it. And the last mindfulness what skill is participate. Practice participating. Jump out of the bed and dance or sing along with music you're listening to. Go running, riding, skating walking. Become one with the activity. Become a word as you slowly say the word over and over. Throw yourself into a social or work activity. Part A of participate skill. Throw yourself completely into activities of the current moment. Just be. Do not separate yourself from what is going on in the moment. Part B of participate skill. Become one with whatever you're doing completely forgetting yourself, throw your attention to the moment. And part C of participate skill, act intuitively from wise mind, do just what is needed in each situation, a skillful dancer on the dance floor, or become one with music, go with the flow, respond with spontaneity, and practice, practice, practice.